tripoded. We are live. Hello. Allie, watch your language. <laughs> Hello, people of the future. What's that? Yeah, there's a little, it's got a neck. Like bend its neck up a little. There, work, work. That's good. That's fine. All right. Hi, everybody. We have a very full shop today. Uh, we have lots of trans world work to do. I didn't say hi to people of the future. Yeah, yeah, I did. I think I did. I said it. Hello, people of the future. If you are from the future and you're just now seeing this, please comment. You can't, well, I guess you could now. But anyway, uh, let us do romper room as uh, Stacy has started calling this segment. Or just say hello to the first couple of folks who get on. Hello, Chase Perry, Christine Salvati, Jordan Bunce, Jennifer Pew Pew Pew, <laughs> Ike Camacho, John Sheffield, John, Poison Sumac, Pops on the Tube, Stanley S, Wolf's Den Creation, Steam Reaper, <laughs> uh, Big Dan Tattooer, Big Dan. Uh, Reese's Lovely Thoughts, Scuba Steve, Kim Beatty, I, Brad Kennedy, Misty Jazierski, Jennifer Pew Pew Pew. Susie Gardner. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Gray Hawkins. Hi, Gray. Hi, Hi Gray. Hi, not Mom. Um, <laughs> Don Prather. Sarah R. Buster Mac. Chad Smith. Body Geeks. Crips. First if you join us again, Warmonger. And that's it. I have a call. I need more. Uh, go ahead to Room Cam. Room and room cam might be a little funky. Uh, that's oh, the side of Haley's head. So look at the camera and say hi. It's up there in the ceiling. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I got you this. Oh, I look cool in glasses. Might have enough for one layer. Okay, so tonight I'm mostly going to be painting masks. Okay. Hey. Body Geek says this beats Sheldon's painting Amy any day. I guess I don't understand that reference. Uh, Double like that. So. Sheldon, that's a... Is that Big Bang Theory? Big Bang Theory reference, right? Love okay. Big Bang Theory. <laughs> uh, I saw part of an episode of that once. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did. I, I did? Do you remember this episode? No. It was one of the first ones because my wife started watching it. Christian Ty Edwards says hello all. Hello, sir. Cobweb candlestick says hello. It's kiwis. Kiwis. Hey, Ruby, you know we have a bunch of burlap right here, right? Oh, hey, look. Burlap. Oh, uh, burlap. Okay, yeah, so in the shop right now, like Ru is Rue and Hallie are making a mold, and Stacy is sewing stilt covers. Uh, I think Kaylee and I are going to be painting masks. And am I on screen? Uh, now I'm on screen. Uh, we'll be painting masks. Um, All right, so yeah, we have we have stuff to do. We have so much stuff to do. Indeed. Stuff. Spin your tripod camera in. Uh, tripod is spun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, go ahead, go to pip. And you are pip. You <laughs> have to cut for wet and fast. I don't know if that's turned on yet. Oh, now it's turned on. Saw through that room. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Cobweb says I answered a key weaves. <laughs> key weaves. Better because that's Kaylee, your name. Sir. This is going to be right here. Just don't trip over it. Sure. That's what we say. Talking to you like your room. <laughs> Okay. All right. So this guy I noticed has not been trimmed. He has eyes in and everything. So I've got to trim his eyes real quick. <laughs> Why is he based? I don't know. Um, Choices were made. <laughs> when you get that guy done, would you grab any other mask that looks like a pumpkin and bring it to me also? Yep. So last week I've missed a couple. Um, we missed a few lives just because we're so crunch time. It's hard to do a live when there's this many people in the shop also because a lot of like directing has to happen. 
like every seven minutes someone finishes a project and say, what do I do next? So that is very hard for me to give a good show. And today's show may not be any good. But uh, here we are. But we're going to do it anyway. I missed you. Yeah. Well, I see you. That's never stopped me before. Did you just sneeze? No. Oh, okay. Oh, you know if I sneeze. Oh, that's right. You have old man sneeze. Wolf says, love the shirt, Alan. Where can I get one? Uh, you know what? I, this, I got this from a, fr a friend mailed this to me. Right. But um, you could get one. I see them pop up a lot. It says, it says Wendigo. Oh, that's cool, actually. Um, all right, Reese's Lovely Thoughts says, uh, yummy, creepy pumpkin pie. Ezekiel says, evening all. Why do you just hey, Rue, don't trip over it. Hello. Cobweb says, name? whoa, why is there a scissors icon in the live chat box? What does it do? What does, what, do, what if I touch it? If you touch it, it saves a, it makes like a, a clip of Oh, no. No. <laughs> no, take that off of there. I will. How do we stop that from happening? I don't happening? know, and I don't care. Oh, I'm excited. No. <laughs> There's uh, several nights that I do not want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a pumpkin? Uh, Jennifer. Uh, uh, pumpkin, their pumpkin head. Your face. Up a pumpkin face. Pumpkin man. Okay, I'm going to go walking. As he feels this, take the scissors off cobwebs. Uh, Body Geek says, oh, Alan, I ordered you a sample Delusion Screen Park t-shirt on Sunday along with my samples. I love me some sample t-shirts. Yeah. Rylan Burdett says, hello, everyone. Hello, Rylan. Cobweb says, whoa, something bad happened. <laughs> I don't know. Callie, I've got the one. Don't trip over it. <laughs> Cobweb says you can just cut out a clip and type words. That's lame. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like that. What's funny is as much as we record, like, having little segments, Zach Wakeman, when he was on, like, one night I was going live, and there were filters on it for some reason. <laughs> and I couldn't stop the filters. I had a Mardi Gras mask on. I'm like, how do I stop this? Uh, so, of course, Zach put that on the Internet. Naturally. Alexa, turn on the air compressor. That makes uh, making memes out of the stream uh, so much easier. <laughs> I think the first one I ever did was when you did the, the shark mask. And it's just a picture of you in the shark mask saying shark noises. Shark noises. <laughs> shark noises. Like, rawr, wait, no. Rawr, 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 Reese's lovely thoughts as I touched it too. Cop up says it's a really tough feature. Well, if you make memes or if the person you're watching is famous, then it may have a use. You guys don't have that luxury. <laughs> you might make memes, but you watch me, and you're I like you're so face. famous. <laughs> you're so famous, Alan. Mm -hmm. Famous. Okay, so this has a white underpaint on it. So, what? Even though I'm going to airbrush orange onto this, I'll still have contrast in the color. All paint is translucent if you're brave enough. No. Yes, ma'am. No. Looks good. Okay. I think I found another pumpkin head, but he's not white yet. Huh? I was talking to Alice. Two minutes. Two minutes, so what? You mix it. Give it two minutes to speak. And even though it goes down in here where the sponge didn't go, I still get that nice <laughs> contrast of color. Body Geek says, I don't make memes, I steal them. Chad says, Alan, I'm not sure if you saw my new Brungle Fly sculpt, but curious what you would use for the spine like hairs that come out of the top of his head. Um, mm. uh, weed Whacker line. Yeah. Weed Whacker line. It does come in black. Or you can also use coffee stir straws. They're really good for insects. This is the least fun to sell. <laughs> Ezekiel says, how are the preps going for Transworld? Uh, you're watching them. I think they're going good. I mean, we're okay. I've got, we have a, we have a lot of new products this year. Um, and I think we have a lot of really cool stuff that we're going to bring. 
So I'm happy about that. Oh, oh, now I see what you're saying. Joseph W. Creation says, Alan, what do people... translucent if you're brave enough. Oh, sorry. So uh, you get the, the contrast still? What's that? Uh, it says, uh, what PSI do you use with your airbrush? Uh, well, all right. <laughs> I have zero fear. Mm -hmm. uh, I run 60 to 70 PSI. Anything basic. And then if I need less pressure, I just push the hose in my hand. Have a couple regulators along the way, but I rarely use them. So that actually reminds me of a funny story of Alan. I went and watched an airbrush demo from Nix Herrera. And uh, after the airbrush demo, I went and talked to Alan, and I was like, oh, hey, Alan, I just learned a neat trick from Nix Herrera. That if you, you know, you can pinch the airline to get a lower lower flow when, you, when you're doing airbrushing. And he's like, yeah, I taught him that. <laughs> uh, so I worked with Nick when he was a little baby at Skull Kingdom. Uh, he was like, I think he was 18. Like, he was 18, maybe 19. Uh, he was the youngest of all of us. Uh, and I was in the room when he was handed an airbrush for the first time. Aww. Joseph W. Creations asks, how's the gnome going? Uh, gnome 1 is done. Gnome 2 is uh, in stages. We'll probably hit DEF CON gnome later this week. <laughs> and we'll be at maximum gnomage. <laughs> Chad Smith says, I hadn't thought of the weed eater line. Definitely going to try. What's Chad say? He said, I hadn't thought of the weed eater line. Definitely going to try that. Uh, what's good about that is that you can take the weed eater line in a lighter, Stab it, well, <laughs> lighter one end of the weed eater line and flatten it, and then you stab it through from the inside, and it's got a little stop to uh, to hold it in place on the inside. <laughs> Let's go, <Allie. laughs> She got better. Resurrect costumes? Says hello, are you okay? Hello! <laughs> we didn't eat this by okay. the room. <laughs> I did warn Pally that I was going to adjust the drill bit. Resurrect See. Costumes asked, did Gnome get a name? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing everything, and uh, I have not picked one yet, but I have a front runner in my mind. That is, what is, use words. Pumpkin. Why is that a pumpkin? Mm, because what makes that look pumpkin-y to you? Pumpkin. Put the on top of the head. Yeah. yeah. Not a pumpkin. It's, it's twiggy, <laughs> but it's not it's the white base. <laughs> Who told you it was a pumpkin? I didn't say it was a pumpkin. I was saying yes, base. You lie. <laughs> you lie. It's, hey, it's, a, it's, a, it's another map. You were asking if it was a pumpkin. It Sometimes it lies, okay? <laughs> Cobweb suggests Grendel Genome. It's not a, that's good. Pumpkin, it isn't. Are we switching sides? They've learned. Hey. Corn. All right. Oh, I gotta do the cornivore. Is corn husk? Yes, that is yes. that mask is cornivore. Oh, that's cool. He actually does wear a pumpkin mask. He does. Hmm? And I'm gonna do a black wash over this. We should do this. And that'll pop my contrast again even more. Rylan Burnett says it could be a pumpkin oh, if you believe enough. Well. That's right. It can. Yeah. Ben Smallwood says hello from Ohio. Hey, Ken. Good to see you on, sir. Ross Richards says, hello, fellow Creepers family. I start my new job soon. Tomorrow is my last day of training. Ross, I love that. What are you going to be when you grow up? John C. says, hello, peoples. This is a small one. Hello. 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 Back. hello. I love this. Is that part? See, I know that one. Wait, okay. Alan gets butt hurt when I call him old. She calls me old a lot. She's just mad. She, she cannot buy alcohol. I will be able to buy alcohol in a few months. Oh, hey, Alan. Gray's watching. <laughs> Hello, Gray. She's also nine years old. I'm going to judge your life choices. <laughs> like a 60-year-old yeah, man. That's what you need. Gray said I was 60 the other day. <laughs> I mean, is she wrong? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. By 15 years? 
If I took 15 years off of Gray's age, she'd be nothing. She'd be in a small bag. <laughs> oh my god. Gray, we're in this together. Don't worry. I will actively make fun of him for you. Fifteen years from now, I'd be pooping myself, and fifteen years ago, she was pooping herself. I hope you're not pooping yourself. Yeah, please fifteen don't. Fifteen years from please now. Don't do that. Just, I mean, like medically, like maybe, you know, like as a hobby. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? 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 I think I like it a little taller. I haven't had time to mess with my Osbot camera, and it doesn't seem to be following me anymore. Jordan Eagle says, hi, Faux Papa yeah. and fam. Are you painting other masks tonight? Yes, I'm, I'm painting one right now as I respond to this. <laughs> Ken Smallwood says, I finished the two-part mold for my demon goat mask. It came out fantastic. Monster camp out. That's great, man. I love that. I love that, because you were having trouble with two-part molds before. He said, I've made two part bowls. They suck. As he feels you ain't that old. Damn, savage young kids. Yeah, they yeah, are. They're being mean. They're savage. I'm not saying I get offended when Alan gets called old. Because <laughs> reasons. Is it because you're older than him? No. Stan is. Stan's the oldest in the shop, right? He's like three months older than me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to be known for. He's a big man. That one might stick. <laughs> I'd wear diapers and I'd still get stuff done. I have a question. That wouldn't slow me down. Half you a bad uh -huh. Right? More work to be done. Always care. Do it. Being not afraid. Yeah, don't be scared, just do it. Oh, I didn't mean like on the eye. I'm just kidding. Alan. Body Geek says, do you ever do production runs where you do like 10 of the same mask at a time? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes Rue is kind and sets me up that way. Other times it's like today. You just decided to choose one that we don't have a bunch done. Oh. Yeah, so but, you know, I'll, I'll have more coming up here. Uh, like, I'll do plant masks probably next, and we have plenty of those. Lots of those. And this is this is sort of a pastel. Oh, why are you guys not? Oh, because I moved the holder. And no one mentioned it. Ken Smallwood says, hey, Alan, I turned 50 last month. Oh, that's right, you're real. Bob Webb says, I'll be 49 the day before Transworld. Nice. Happy belated early birthday. I will. I will have some um, sugar fire in your honor. And complain Jordan, about his heartburn. You saw Jordan's uh, camera correction. Question: What's sugar fire? He said, "Could you raise the?" I did. Raise I did. the cam. Okay. Ezekiel um, says, "Just raise eyes, let's go back to Carl Cleaver persona." Right. Body Geek says, "I'm still 17." Right. Ross Richard says, "Rue, uh, it'll get stuck to his diaper." What is sugar fire? It's a barbecue, it's a barbecue place. place. It's delicious. And you'll have some. You'll go there. Uh, Probably. Is it the one that's like months. Arby's? Chad says, I'm not going to yeah. let that a lot going on. I'm currently in Nashville. <laughs> Sorry, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Any new sculpts going to get Transworld? Uh, yes, we have new sculpts at Transworld. So we will have new. I, they're molding something I sculpted today. <laughs> and actually, I thought of Ken Smallwood while I was sculpting it. <laughs> because for a long time, it, it, went looked, like, one of those stages? it looked like a peen. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, yeah, we'll do plants. You shouldn't do plants while you're at work. Not those kind of plants. That's landscaping. Custom courses. <laughs> hey, Alan, your mask is working. Okay, you fixed it. Yeah. 
Oh, the chin. I, he's probably pointing out that I missed the chin. Yeah. <laughs> John, see, the high school girl at work asked me to buy her beer and vodka. I said no, and she said I thought you were cool. What are you sorry for? What? It just seems like a stupid question. What's the question? Right here. Do you want that painted? Nah, don't sweat it. Leave the inside of the mouth dark. Okay. Custom Corpse says good evening. What's good, about the sponge. What's good about the sponge is the sponge is going to hit everything on top. Mm -hmm. uh, and the next time that you do one, I'm going to turn this camera onto you so that you can show them the, your sponge rating. But the sponge isn't going to penetrate anywhere that light wouldn't penetrate. So you're really using that as an underpainting and a highlight. Okay. Um, so you get the sugar fire like Arby's Dam. Yeah, Chase Perry says there's a sugar ah. fire in Northeast yeah, Dallas. Yeah, like that hurt my, my soul. Does I, it help that I like Arby's? I like Arby's. I come out to says Arby's is nasty. There's your band horsey sauce. Yeah, listen, I like eating Arby's, and then three hours later, Arby's hates me. Yeah. Ray says, I'm joining now, and I just want to confirm that Stacy quoted me properly. <laughs> she said that uh, you didn't want to come to the shop and have your life choices judged by a 60-year-old. <laughs> Robert White says, hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. All right, check it out. Nice. So this is a little long on the bottom. I, we can we can trim it. I figured I would let it be a little longer than that, and if we needed to dink with the sure. <laughs> Hallie, what you working on? Uh, a mold. Okay. <laughs> Rue, what are you working We're on? We're burlapping this mold. Okay. Oh, got it. Doing the lap of the birds. This is the quickest one I've ever done, Alan. Okay, it's because people are watching you. Better watch yourself. Ugh. Watch yourself. June Ritchie says, hello everyone, enjoying the painting. Watch. On the subject of birthdays, I recommend starting over at 50. Me too. I started counting down. You know, that's my I'm name. not, I'm kind of looking forward to being older. <laughs> I like, I, I think I'll slow down some. <laughs> and do less. <laughs> Uh, Chuck Smith says, can we see yeah. new colors for this year? I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I don't have them. Uh, because we're doing the paint, uh, because we're selling paint, I have not opted to do um, new colors, yeah. Yeah, 13 new colors because I want to be in sync with what I've got. And that's why I'm kind of using this uh, underpainting technique on everything this year because that is going to unify the look like a new color line would. So, all right, you're done there. Jordan Easel says, I promise this is the only off-topic question we get for tonight. What's your favorite hot sauce? I like Sriracha and Tabasco. Um, Jordan, first of all, Jordan, I appreciate you limiting your off-topic questions. That's very nice. Uh, sometimes it's fine to keep the stream going and such, but I appreciate that you realize sometimes you wander. Thank you for that. And uh, my favorite is the Chipotle Tabasco. I had it on a breakfast burrito this morning, and it were delicious. Gray said, I said I didn't want to spend my spring break being mentally tortured by a 60-year-old man, and then I immediately regretted it. Oh. <laughs> Ike Camacho says, exactly, you eat a few beef and cheddars and make a big Montana 30 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Ken Smallwood says, glad I left an impression with my full quote-unquote head mask. Yeah, 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 it was full head, all right. <laughs> Lots of head. Rue, innuendo okay, innuendo not okay. <laughs> Am I still wearing your glasses, Alan? I sure am. Yep. Safety things. Yep. Oh. 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 Well, I, she, I, I imagine that this guy would make the same noise as a zombie snail. <laughs> Ezekiel says mentally tortured, but constantly listens to Taylor Swift for life advice. <laughs> <laughs> David Carter says hi, Alan from UK. <laughs> Hello, David Carter in the UK. Chad says, wow, just like that we would still be after dark. It don't take much around here, guys. Okay. 
We do have to watch our language, though, because Kaylee is 11. <laughs> oh my she is God! Young I'm and not impressionable. 11. She is young and impressionable. I'm two zero twenty version two. God. Twenty eleven. I actually have T-shirts older than her. And that's not even like. Right. Yeah, that's not even. Yeah. That's it. That's not. I right. absolutely I have T-shirts older than her. For shizzle. The fact that I just use shizzle, which I'm pretty sure shizzle is older. Than her. That's probably 20 years old by now. <laughs> Ezekiel said the kids are back at school around. It's cool. <laughs> Custom Corpse says, oh, forgot about slowing down when you got older, Alan. Uh, the problem is you start to feel like you're running out of time, uh, specifically if you love what you do. You know what? I don't know that I'll feel that. I think, like, I'm... You've accomplished. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm happy with what I did. <laughs> Ezekiel says she's not nine. She's two ten. Agreed. Yes! Someone gets it. What about four fives? Here, <laughs> would you take the bottom off of this for me? But how old is she in dog years? <laughs> Push. Thanks. I don't, know how, I don't know how to math, so I don't know how old I am in dog years. How dog are you in old years? My brain just had a malfunction. <laughs> you had a stroke. Custom Corpse says I'll be 60 in June. That's awesome. Hey, I like I, I look forward to being like older. I'm probably Chad romanticizing Smith. it. Says, questions for everyone. Who is going to the costume ball at Trans World Saturday night? I am. I am. We are. I am. I am. And again, you guys were asking about tickets. I will get tickets when we get there. Thank you. If there's something you want to go to, just let me know and I'll make sure you have a ticket for it. Thank you, Alan. Alan has a superpower for getting tickets. He does. Yeah, I go and get them. Go buy them. Will I be able to see that? Buddy, he says 10 terrible twos. Yeah. What's you're that? Pay, you're going to pay him back in labor, Kaylee. Yeah, no kidding. I can do that. You have, you have no idea how hard you're going to work at the show. I'm <laughs> so excited for that. I hate not working, or I hate working without, like, I don't like not hard work. I don't like it. Buddy, he says 10 it terrible twos. Another catch. Cobweb says not I. Big Dan Tattoo or just hello guys in ghouls, glad to see you on. Hi, it's good to be on. Uh, we didn't get to go on last week because there's too much chaos in the shop. Hey, Mario! But it's happening. Hey, Mario! Says, hello together, Mario survived his surgery. We've eaten almost all of your balls. Eyeballs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone in the shop has had Mario's eyeballs in their mouth. And we're thrilled about it. Yeah. Christine Salvati says, I'm going. Working on my dress for the ball right now. That is awesome, Christine. Hooray! I'm glad that worked out, Christine. I got my hat you made today. had this great for a moment. I got my skirt almost finished. Stacy, yes. that hat is fantastic. Thank you. I, I, have, I have not worked on my costume I, at all. I tried to keep my doing my hair the way I wanted to, but yeah. I think I'm just going to keep the braid. Stop doing this. Well, I'll be in my booth or I'll be teaching a class. I'm teaching five classes this year, so there will be a lot of time I'm out of my booth, sadly. But also, there's the Yeah. Yeah, I can I can see and hang with you at the costume ball. George um, says, so if you could sculpt and cast a brain monster, what colors would you use on which parts of the head? Now see, I like gray brains, and most people don't like gray brains anymore. They do it like a pinky flesh, um, but I'm still a gray brain guy. I don't know why, but that's what holds into my head. It is called gray matter. And I like it. Oh, uh, Jennifer, I, I haven't worked on my costume at all because I already have a costume. It's fully finished. Sick. I don't need to work on it. So all that this, all that has been done to this, was the sponge underpaint and then green on it. That's all that we did. So, like, that's a lot of detail and contrast yeah. for just having two stages. That's pretty cool. You and painted I half of this fence. I do my best. Like Callie Fuller, Alex, Ruth, Jordan. No, sorry. Uh, Jennifer says, "Whoa, Ruth." <laughs> But Ezekiel says, "Whoa, who's been giving Stumpy haircuts?" And then it was like, "Yeah, Rue got his ears lowered." 
Because of course, as long as you have your health being older is cool, but I don't have that pain-free life. Well, I haven't had a pain for life in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Nangles has one. Two. Never pews. I'm going to go to the dark place. Saturday night, hopefully. Dabby kind of fucking terrifying. And uh, he might stab you. Bite <laughs> like, so you. Bite you. Bite Grace, this Daisy's ball costume is so cool already. Thank you, Grace. Did I send you a picture of my. Huh? Yeah. Christian Tyler says, oh yes, could you describe the scare acting class you're teaching again? I remember you talking about teaching different ways to make the scare. Okay, so I'm not necessarily teaching a scare acting class. What the closest to that that I'm teaching, um, is, I'm teaching a lot of like high level classes this year. So the, the closest one is exploring the predator-prey relationship. Most of the scares in a haunted house are built around being an ambush predator. Think about a trapdoor spider and think about how they lay in wait, the prey comes near, you open, you reach out, that's a drop panel, that's a curtain scare, that's a doorway scare. Uh, most of it is an ambush predator scare. So, but there's so many other types of predation that we can mine oh, hey, those types of predation and build scares around them. We're gonna kick. So that is what's happening. That class. It's uh, exploring the predator-prey relationship. It's small, but yeah, it's mine. I found that mask at the Irish Fest yesterday, and I was like, hey, you're coming out with me. I think we have some of them back there. Ezekiel oh, says, no pain, no gain. You're a winner. What about a winner? He says, no pain, no gain. No hurt, but you're a winner. Right. Chad Smith says, isn't the theme classic Halloween this year? Yes, it is. Very exciting. Cobweb says, sprinkles are for winners. Norman Vincent says, hello from the brewery. Hello, Norman Vincent. Custom Corpses says, but I'll say this meeting you in person is definitely on my bucket list. Hooray, come see me. Mike Cherzanowski says, hi all. So, uh, hi Mike. Um, <laughs> um, I am very blessed because I get to share what I do with people. There are other people who do cool stuff just as much as me, the same stuff as me, uh, who just maybe don't share as much. Um, I am not a celebrity. I am not doing anything important with my life, really, uh, aside from making monsters. I kind of feel like that's my calling, uh, scaring people. Um, but, yeah, it, it's great that you want to meet me and I want to meet you. I assure you I'm not important. I like that. Meet, you know, there are people out there doing awesome, amazing work who I would like to meet. Body Geek says, I have an idea for YouTube Wednesday when things get uncrazy. Uh, Stacy could do a walkthrough choosing fabrics that are better for haunt wear slash wear and tear for costumes. Okay, so this is, all, all I'm airbrushing with here is my latex mask paint. So that's the translucency that you can get with latex mask paint. Black ones are painted with. Oh, never mind, I like. Pull me this guy out so that I can paint it. And there's one just like it. Uh, oh, grab me that Amantis. Please. It's okay, you don't have to be nice while the camera's on. This one? Jordan needs to ask, what are your favorite base colors for Viscera? Um. I like to base it in something really dark, like a purple uh, or even a black. I got you this. Thanks. It's my favorite thing. You said you just wanted the mask and the swirly guy? Uh, yeah, because those guys are getting based in green. I don't see anybody else. Oh, that mm -hmm. goblin up there? That one? Kay. He's going to get based in green, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. says, I'm not important. Says a guy who everyone in the industry knows oh, my name and all the fonts have some yeah. form of his, you know, one of his YouTube Wednesdays. You know what? I just I love what I do. So uh, I, I'm very passionate. Um, but 
I'm dropping. I don't know. I, I always feel really weird when someone says they want to meet me. Bad stuff. Patrick. Patricia Hogarty says hello. Okay. Get on the last one. Right. Hello, Patricia Hogarty. You take this. Why don't you get Patricia a Beastman fist bump? Boom. Boom. Shakalaka. It's been a little while. Mm -hmm. Wow. Jordan Easel says, be right back. Since I found you. It's been a while. Yes, meet my wife. She is good to meet. Yes. She really does. Oh, yeah. I got you this. Okay, you want this? Sure. There's also one on the chair that I will bring to you since you just took that Bless you. Thank you. Tiny little kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pugh. Jennifer Pugh seconds and Shannon gives good hugs. Ezekiel says, and take her some wine. Yeah, because she has to put up with me. Um, All the time. Watch yourself. How many watching you want Jordan, did you announce that you were leaving and then come back a minute later? Yes. Then he was switching. Tina Butter says hi, everyone. Hello, Tina. Tina Butter says hi, everyone. Hello, Tina. Jasmine says, I was one of those people who wanted to meet you, and now I work. Now I want to work with you at some point when the stars align. Come on. I could use you in the shop today. Short on flirts. Okay. Gotta fill up my jar with flirts. Okay. Things are fine. Things are fine. If you just don't look at it, nothing's happening. That's how I go through haunts. If I just don't look, it doesn't happen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know y'all's tricks. Ezekiel says, hey, Alan, great news on the postage front. I've been getting parcels in a uh, great time from the USA. As soon as the Tim Tams go on sale, I promise to restock the care package and get some over. Thank you, Ezekiel. You know what? I don't, amazing. I don't mind the little break because uh, I was a little hefty there. <laughs> I'm back on the losing track, hallelujah, but I did need to uh, lose a bit of weight. A bit of little? Rylan Burnett says, is this goblin named Bo uh, Boblin? Uh, he's going to be a very planty goblin. He's going to get foliage up in his foliage. <laughs> God. Are you good at yeah. Here, I got you this. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, what are you? You know what? You're going to be green, too. You're going to be this. You're going to be this. This is what's happening for your life. Mr. Jimmy FSC oh, oh. says late, but hello. Hey, Mr. Jimmy. Hello. But they only focus on our Body Mac says that could be turned into a, a zombie Yoda. You're amazing. You're that fast. Zombie it could be a zombie Yoda. Uh, you missed one. Kay. Maybe two. Brenda Bodwin says, did you make some mushroom yes. panels from the molds we watched you make? We are going. Yes. Can we see the finished product, please? Uh... Yes, Rue, bring out the shelf fungus. Bring, bring out, out the shelf fungus. fungus. You know what? I'll bring out the shelf I'm fungus. Chemically Rue, is, committed. Rue is chemically committed while making a mold. Thank you, Alan. Ezekiel says, definitely gone dark mode. Foliage? 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 Foliage. 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 Yeah, so a lot of plants. Like we're really pushing a plant theme, plants and shroomages. Cobweb says, oh yeah, I want a mushroom panel at Transworld. It's all funny games if somebody wants a mushroom panel. Yeah, lots. Then it's fungus game. Yeah, choices. Make scare hot says I finally caught a live. Hi, make scare hunt. You get a beast man fist bump. You get a beast man fist bump. It's a beast man fist bump. <laughs> 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 Patricia Hogarty says there's a new creepy show about the lore of the Danish chestnut man. 
made me think of you guys. The Danish art artist said she never saw them as creepy when she was a child, but she likes the concept. So look at that now that I did the purple up underneath, magenta, we'll call it, and then I did the over, I did all directional spraying on this one. Congratulations, Alan. I'm showing people how to do stuff. And how easy it is to look like you know how to paint things. Mm -hmm. All right, am I down? I love the directional painting stuff. Yeah. Mr. Jimmy says, just the same as you're getting last bit done for the show, uh, moved up to, to two booths this year. Would you go to a room cam? Good job, Mr. Jimmy. That's great, dude. Um, this, this year I have six booths. I don't know if I'll stay at six booths. I might go down to five. Uh, I have a lot of space, like there's a lot of space, you know. Um, I couldn't bring what, everything I bring if I only had two booths, but I remember leaping from one booth to two. I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. Like, it's a lot of money for a booth, but... And there's no other show, there's no other show to compare it to. Like, nothing is the same as Trans World. Um, because if you look at your sales at like MHC, which is probably the second biggest show, look at your sales at MHC, and then like it's not like one tenth of your sales at Transworld. It's it's so many more sales at Transworld. Buster Max says, "I just want to say the mask I bought from Alan when he signed, I have in a safe deposit box at the bank. That's celebrity status right there." Holy moly! <laughs> uh, that's that's uh, I'm. I'm not important, but I'm glad you're happy with your mask. Jennifer Pugh says, I'm not sure you know this is Chad Smith says, I see you using that Ed Edmonds technique. Good on you. Uh, well, I mean, it's just that airbrushes are directional. Um, that, is, that, is, that is not one that I learned from Ed. That's one that, boy, Craig Schaefer uh, taught me that, uh, airbrush-wise. Fraser. Craig Fraser. But Ed does use it. I think most people who airbrush use it. I use it a lot in airbrush makeup to get your shadows up under the jaw. You can go back to Pip. Custom Corpus says, no, just Castle meet you in person and shake your hand and thank you for sharing your knowledge. If you're not too busy, whenever that happens, maybe show me Dark Hour. Yeah. Patricia Hogarty says, fungus goo? Ooh. Yeah, Brenda Bodman says, I really like that mask. Now do a girl version. Yeah, I said it. In my massive spare time. Hey, do me a favor. See how I'm airbrushing this? Finish airbrushing this. Okay. Jordan Easel says, what's your most favorite detail on your cleft palette pumpkin? Like uh, I like his cleft palette. Funny you should mention that. I'm going to go grab some shell fungus. What, what has it been? Uh, the back of this eye, around that ring. And then replace it and grab something else. I'm not a professional. Ezekiel right. asks, is Ed Gannon in your booth? Yes, he is. Yes, Ed will be back. Cobweb says, Transworld is the Super Bowl. Jordan Eagle says, hi, Allie. Still rocking that blue hair, I see. It's, it's green. green. Oh, both of us did it. Which one am I replacing with? Hmm? I don't remember which one you told me to replace it with. I have no idea. My hair's actually more green. <laughs> huh? I'm talking to myself. Um, I don't Big Dan Tattoo versus Ed Gannon is an awesome human. Best boss I ever had. Hmm. Cobwebs asked, are you bringing the humpback like costume else, this year? No, I don't believe we are. Miss anything up? I'm just going to wait till he comes back out so that I don't mm -hmm. miss anything up. Just stick your head in there, Matt. Oh. Hey, yeah, Alan? There he is. Which one did you say to replace it with? Uh, know. You know what? Grab me one more of these guys, put it up here, and then grab all the ones that are going to be brown. One of those? These? Okay, where are those? Height doesn't even really matter. <clears throat> Let me confirm. Cobwebs asked, are you bringing the hunchback costume this year? No, I'm not. Uh, it did not fit in with this year's line, so I'm not. Mr. Jimmy says, agreed, hope it pays off. Made a lot more stuff this year to fully fill it and stay right next to Dippin' Dots. Also right at food, so I believe it'll be a good year. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so 
This is a mushroom panel from us I think you guys have seen before, where there's morels on it and there is regular mushrooms. This is new for Transworld. Um, but this is meant to mount onto a wall or like someone's back for a costume. And every little shroom. I just kind of did a quick test paint on this one. And then this is one that we just did. I molded the other night. This is just shelf fungus. This is all shelf fungus. It's a little mushroom up on top there. It's just a little guy. Which ones do you want, Brown, Alan? That's right. Okay, so brown is cornivore down there. And uh, let's do the shelf fungus spaces in brown. And let's do this guy here in brown. But yeah, so these are shelf, and they're, they're, these are bigger. Like this is, a, this is a good sized one. This is a good sized one. And um, we have smaller. I think it's the larger one of this too, right? There's a, yeah. Of that? Um, yeah. We have no. a lot of fungus. That's the large shelf fungus. There's shelf no fungus things. among us. That is, that is the large shelf fungus. Okay, so that's the large shelf fungus. Custom Corpse says, how many trans worlds are there in a year? One. Just the one. Custom Corpse says, that's cool. Brenda Bobham says, that turned out fantastic. Love it. Sometimes you need a sheet of fungus. Jordan Eagle says, how would you save a latex piece that hasn't fully set with, in a significant area? Would you please go to room cam? <laughs> that's my phone. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. You can go off room cam okay. now. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> I only found one shell fungus mask. Do you really? Want these brown? No, there's more than one. Uh, Am I just blind? I do not want those guys brown, no. There's okay, one that pink. Jordan is last. How would Daily. you save the latex piece that has it fully set? Okay, there. Okay. Okay. Wait. Let latex air dry. Just wait. I need it, it'll dry. Throw a fan on it. You're good. Patricia Hogarty says, I really okay. dig the shell fungus. Cobb Bud says, love the shell fungus. Something we all love. About the shelf fungus. A fungus. Cracking up, that's the Oh, where are we on? Oh, yeah. Let's do the turny turny for the, the panty turny. panty. Yikes. Yikes. Chad Smith Yikes. says, time to party with all the fun guy. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I'll give myself a reference. Uh, you know, I think hey. that's what Rue actually named that mask. That's, yeah, that's the name of that mask. It's fun guy. I made that joke earlier. Everyone, everyone Things does. are fun. Yeah. See, you know what I want? I don't need your costume. Adults are talking. Woo! <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, Rue's almost moved in. Stacy's here like three or four times a week. Uh, yeah, we live here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we we have a lot to do. We have we have big ideas. I have been here every day over the last week. <laughs> now it's it's uh, how hard do we have to work just to have you know a good show? Says, I learned Wait, that the ants who get cordyceps are completely aware. It doesn't take over their brain. That's more horrifying than I originally understood. Oh, yeah. Still working. Cordyceps fungus is phenomenally awesome. Getting Mike Krasnowski says, I feel like a little kid. I can't wait to go transworld. Uh, you are going to love it, Mike. You're going to love it. Jennifer Pugh says, I love that bird one. I can't remember its name. This is Scary, scary Scarecrow. S K A I R C R. I think it's scary, bro. I don't know. Ask my wife. She does the website. <laughs> I just make the monsters they tell me to make. Cobweb says Pumpkin Pulp makes a fun guy mushroom mask. Do they? I had not seen it. 
or, Jack, I, this is fair point. or I did not remember it. Cobweb says I've never seen that bird mask. Uh, I sculpted that one at Transworld last year. This is the, and, and then threw it away and then re-sculpted it. Right. Real hard to transport a wedge play sculpture. So Rue, you like the underpainting look? Yeah. It's fast. It is fast. Patricia Hoverty says also, I'm, or and I also learned that the cordyceps is being tested for use in medicine. Apparently, humans won't get the same effect. Yeah, good theory. That's how we get zombies, guys. Do you want zombies? Some scientist thinks they're doing good. Next thing you know, fungus takes over. Damn, Here, I got you this. Cobweb says, oh, expelling in masks. <laughs> Custom Corps says, these are new masks, right? I didn't see these get sculpted. Did you record the sculpting of these new masks? I did not record the sculpting of everything, but there's two fungus-themed masks that are here that um, Rue sculpted one at Monster Camp, and I sculpted one at Monster Camp. Because we knew, and we <laughs> snuck it in. We knew. Jordan Easel says, Ed Edmonds reanimated Michael Myers as a pumpkin head man. Yes, he did. He, uh, he pulled the generic cliche card and it's working out good for him. I, too, have done that. <laughs> Why'd I come over here? I don't know. Contact cement. It's almost like I've already smelled the contact cement. <laughs> Patricia Hogarty says, yum, sautéed cordyceps. Ezekiel says, question, wondering if you have a secret recipe for painting a poultry foam. Uh, spray paint. I like spray paint. It is a little bit absorby, so you have to kind of just be careful. But uh, hit it with um, spray adhesive first. Spray adhesive seals the outside. Go ahead and put that one onto the shelf. And then... Um, yeah, hit those guys. Now it's stuck in my head. What was the, the... I can't remember who sang it. I, it was just in my head. The this thing. Oh, I'm looking at it now. Come on. Oh, magic. That's the first. It says, I love the one you're spraying now. Uh, well, I'm sure it has strong feelings for you also. And that wasn't me. That was Kaylee who's painting. I have snuck away. I am in a lounge chair just off camera, <laughs> doing nothing. Having a rum runner. <laughs> Pointing and shaking your head. That's right. Sometimes he nods even. Mm -hmm. I have Shannon Grayer feed me some grapes. Cobweb says, Toss is releasing new pumpkin head, Motel Hell, Candyman 2, and Killer Clown from Average Killer Clown action figures later this year. They all look awesome. I, I bet they do. Love Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That is my favorite horror movie. <laughs> it's not a horror movie. The sigh. It's so cheesy. I love it. It's a comedy. Good. Clowntax! 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 Jordan Easel says, have you seen his Jack the Widow a pumpkin spider hybrid? I have, yes. That sounds like a says fungi Thank you. Spider concept. Ezekiel says cobwebs might have to do some shopping for me. What a legend he is. What look at your look at the screen there and get yourself more in camera a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So they can see what you're doing. Do you want me to move this one? No, that that one's fine. Okay. It's kind of pointed the side. That one's just pointed at the yeah. side of your head. Yeah. Patricia Hogarty says they should sell fungicide hot cider to haunted house attendees. Fungus cider. That's nice. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Trisha Hogan. Trisha Hogan. I have no room to make this bad. So we don't have credit when we still have idea. We make horrible <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Got a tiny yeah. sign in the bar. <laughs> you do. You're correct. Alan? Yes. You can't talk either. I don't make jokes. My life is serious. Let's get thick. Oh. Do you want to know? I don't make those emotions. That's right. I don't have those pesky emotions. <laughs> Try. Oh, well, my arm's around now. Put the other side. 
say that you're 11 years old. The circle of life. You don't get my jokes because <laughs> they're too old. And you don't get my jokes because yeah. you guys could drink fungus cider at Transworld. How old were you in 1995? Dead. Dead. Oh yeah, that's right. What year were you born? 2001. Oh, God. 2001. <laughs> 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 that's the year I moved to Texas. Jordan Eve says, while on the topic of mushrooms, name a fungus that produces this liquid called glee boo. Glee boo? Who did you glee boo? Well, um, I would have to know more about fungus for that. And I don't. Resurrect Costume says these whippersnappers. No kidding. <laughs> Jennifer Pugh says, I'm going to drop off for the evening. Can I have it all? Good night. Good night, you. Good night, you. I promise I'm not looking down the there. See if it works. Hmm? Okay, look down there, see if it works. I don't do that with guns, so. Cobweb says, oh my gosh, 2001. That's like this century. Oh yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> Hence me saying she's 11 all the time. Because she's a wee baby. He tried to knock it down to nine, but I didn't let him. This is why we made the little ones. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so cute! Oh my goodness! Yeah, he looks good like that. This is the grave digger, but now he's got some shelf fungus in a couple spots on him. Mushroom? And I'll work on blending that in. I know, I know. Every time I hear it. And I would give this one a good foam cap. Oh, I'm not on camera. I'm so sorry. This is because I'm not on camera. Which McCall is not on camera. Which McCall is not on camera. Mask. Words. <laughs> big Dog Mask says hello, Alan Stacy and Creepers. Hey, Big Dog. Hi. Hey, Big Dog. Bro says hey, Alan Crew and Creepers. Hello. Hello. His teacher says, night all. Stay safe. Night, yay. Chad Smith says, Alan, have you watched John the Beast? Watched it yesterday. Do you see the movie? Yes, I have. What was the one we watched yesterday? Beast. Beast fight. Uh, uh, what was fight. It? Oh, uh, Monster Wars. Or Monster Monster Fight. So, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. I, I, it was really fun. Make Scare Haunts says, 2001 makes me feel old. As it should. Custom Corp says, 2001, I was still old. <laughs> Oh. Ezekiel says, hey, big dog. Patricia Hogan says, cashier is the only look for a 19 birth year on IVs now. Yep. yep. I still have mine. We were just talking about that the other day. Jordan Diesel says, this fungus spread, the fungus spread, spread the spores through flies. And I spelled it wrong. Gleba. Uh, be unstoppable. Ezekiel says, if you rearrange the letters of old, you get experience. That's right. 
Big Dog says, see you all at Trans World. Can't wait to get stuff I don't need. Dude, I can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to sell you some stuff you don't need. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to sell you some things you don't need. Hallie? Yeah. Now is when you abandon Rue. And yeah. help you. Uh, you're going you're gonna to help yourself. Alright, what can I do? I basically have more? Yep. Heck yeah. Don't on your hand. No, Alan Bobs! She really likes to full name them. Alan Wayne Hoff! <laughs> I learned that. I learned your middle name. <laughs> your middle name, Allie? What? We learned your middle name. You want us to tell the class? Michelle. 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 And any time I go to a restaurant and they ask me what my name is for my order, I say Michelle because no one gets Allie right. And then you get mad. Yeah, I get very upset. I felt upset bad. Has, this is Monster Fight. Is that the right movie? Uh, the right kind of movie where Universal monsters fight against each other? Yeah, yeah. They're kind of. Like, yeah, they're uh, they're not quite Universal, but Frankenstein's in it. A werewolf is in it. Which? <laughs> and which bitch is in it? <laughs> Frankenstein's monster. Ezekiel says so better than leaving money for kids to inherit. <laughs> Apparently, Gleba smells like dead ants. I don't want to smell anyone to Gleba. <laughs> Just on principle. Valid. You missed a spot. No, I didn't. You missed a spot. Alan Hogg. What you got next, Alan? What's this? What's funny, it, it was like shooting, the camera was shooting way over your head. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, and it's like you were not on the camera us. at all. Oh. Alan wants to meet God. Goodness gracious. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Alright, you. Did you ever learn how to strap masks? No. Awesome. I just, not quite. We were getting there. Okay. I just cut the straps and then y'all were like, oh my god, that was fast. Yeah, you did a good one. All right, so right, now we got bulky in this spot. You're gonna, we're gonna clean off this table. Actually, that's Alan's side. But. <laughs> what do you want? Ah. Huh? Where are you there? Yeah, leave mm -hmm. it wet side down. That way, it takes longer to dry out. We can still use it here. later. Here. Yes, ma'am. Here. Put that one down and grab another mask that needs base out there. <laughs> We're now on a vicious mask basing out cycle. Say no more. If Kaylee were kind to you, she would go over there now and start arranging them. Huh? But the unbased ones were forward. Dude, that would be super cash money if you did that for me. Go to tripod camp. I should do this. I should phone this before I crack it, right? What? Well, uh, yes. Okay. Phone then crack. If I were kind, I would put them on the lower shelves. However, Jordan Hughes says I think so. Custom Corp says, Alan, are you spraying the latex paint through the airbrush? Yes, of course. That is how we do the do. Uh, my, the, the paint that we make and sell, by the way, um, <laughs> is 100% uh, airbrushable. Mr. Jimmy says, hey, Alan, will you have any blanks of the clicker at the show? Uh, I could probably make that happen. Oh, blanks. I could probably make that happen. I'll have to talk to a guy. Hey, Rue. Yeah. Planks. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Mr. Jimmy wants one? Yeah. Mr. Jimmy, you want any other blanks? Like, you should, like, put it in order or something. Ezekiel says, chisel tooth looks great with fungus. I call my uh, chisel tooth mask warp. Violin Burdett says, is that a mod man in the background? Yes, it is. Custom Corpse says, if so, how thin and what kind of airbrush? Um... It's I don't you don't have to thin it at all. It's ready to airbrush out of the out of the bottle, and uh, I use both the Harbor Freight. Well, I use Harbor Freights and I use um, Pache Aegis. Hello, Hello, Hello. Says, is that a moth man with red eyes? Yes. Uh, be prepared, guys. I'm gonna kill the lights. I have my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! That's cool. Oh, it shows up on camera real good. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it does. I saw that running at me. I would. Rylan Burnett says, "Woo, Mothman!" So what you can't see in person on the camera, I don't think, is you 
these they have like a, a weird little flicker to them because these are actually flat L panel lights. These are not, uh, it's like, it's a flat panel. It's, it, uh, it's an L panel, EL panel is what it's called. Mr. Jimmy says, one of the clickers awesome. in all of your fungus, and uh, one of your fungus. Custom okay. says I'll have to order some of your paint. Well, we'll have it at Transworld. Whoa. And this is where the actor sees. That's why it's good to have a laser. Wow, they changed their thing. Yes. Uh, you, first, you have to pull the pin. Get this piece <laughs> out of here. Okay. This is extra. You throw it at someone. And then this goes on this way. And then you rock it on to clip on the... Don't point that at me. Put it at Alan. Takes care of Mothman. Jordan uses this. Does Mothman have an That's exoskeleton weird. or an internal skeleton? Well, he would be an insect, so he would have an exoskeleton. That but he's part man, man who's yeah. not, so. I guess that would be how his black got so sculpted. That's right, he works out. It's all exoskeleton. <laughs> uh, clear off space on this side. Round uh, oh, that is so it's got a, This side? Yeah. Side. That's kind of neat. <laughs> yeah, you need a good space there in the middle. Professor <laughs> Hogarty says those eyes are fantastic. Oh, uh, ah. they're, they're new. Ah. God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, turn the lights back on. Thanks, Alan. Miss that with water before you put your first layer. <laughs> Even though the mold is just going to eat this a lot before I can even put it. <laughs> but at least we'll have moisture for, the, for it to suck. There's no need to feel down. I'm going to swing the tripod cam back from the bunk end. Oh, they were working on the shelf, oh, so I... Oh, God! Fruit just sprayed me. <laughs> you said do it! I <laughs> like yeah. I couldn't hit you from there. <laughs> I didn't think it would! <laughs> you, every now and then look at the camera just to make sure what you're doing is on camera. Okay. I guess... Uh, <laughs> so what did we learn? I guess you could say that that was rude. <laughs> this will not trend? No, it was not. Good. <laughs> Yes, Let them be strapped or friend. For the two corner boards that are there, they're both yeah, they're cool light. heads, so they don't heat. need strap. Oh, and Rue, I'll need you on strapping after. Says you okay. got to do a video on them for sure. What am I doing a video on? The lights for Mothman's eyes. Uh, you know what? They're really freaking expensive. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it costs sixty bucks per mask to do both of those. So. Buggy parts have an exoskeleton, and his manly parts have an endoskeleton. Yes. Jordan Eusel says, if he had an exoskeleton, he'd probably crush under his own weight. Why not have both? That's weird. Jorge Los Dos. Oh, no. I lost Richard. Custom Brooks says, flat panel lights. We'll have to look into them. Grab some paper towels, throw your wet paint. Trisha Hogan says, Rue is a strapping young man. Well, it's about to be. Strapping old man. <laughs> hey! That Brad way. Brad says, I think Mothman has a mesoskeleton like a xenomorph. Ectomorph, mesomorph, kinetomorph. Those are the three morphs. No, that's ninjutsu. <laughs> xenomorph is... Alien. Alien. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations, Alan. You figured it out. Custom Corpse What's says, the one from the game? Line of dollar signs after it. Say again? Rue, do you remember the, or I don't know if you play video games, Stacey, but there's a game called Alien Isolation. Oh, I hate that game. And there's a, there's a game, there's a monster in there that's a morph at the, box, at the back. And I can't remember what it's called. Your mama morph? <laughs> This, uh, the ghillie suit stuff is sucking all of the moisture out of my hands. Like, very, very, it's like, catching all my fingernails. You just did plaster. <laughs> I have lotion in my bedroom. Choir. <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Custom Corpse says, Mothman has a fallings. Alright, so someone already cut straps. Hi. <laughs> We're going to say that's good. 
What's that? Well, let's see if you cut them long enough. We'll find out together. You measured them. You measured. I was measured them to make correct? sure they were the, the size that Rue said. Did Rue tell you the right size? <laughs> it is a mystery. Rue tells me. That feels right. Considering it used to be a shorter length, and then you just made me change it recently. Is Rue making a Marge Simpson wig? Yes, yes, that is what Rue is making. Uh, we're making taking all of our hog stuff a different direction. <laughs> Big Dog says, what is in the gallon jugs behind Rue? Uh, that's foam. I don't want to talk about it. That's foam. This is going to fall off and make a mess. Angie Rogers says, hi guys. Hi Angie, it's been a hot minute. You movie fan fist bump. Angie gets a beach man fist bump. Ooh. Rylan Burdett says, what is getting the foam? Uh, so Rue is foaming a, uh, a mold we just made. And he's putting a foam cap on it just to strengthen it. It allows us to have a stable mold, but that doesn't weigh as much. Tina Bodern says the subtitles are amazing with all the background chatter. Uh, I'm sure they're odd. Custom Corpse has asked, do those lights uh, come smaller? I was thinking of a uh, hooded Grim Reaper or something like that. Or a big <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put that through there. Ezekiel says give Rue gloves. Ezekiel. Gloves or gloves. Jeez. Look what I'm doing. Look what I was already doing. Now you cannot cap over this side too. I know. You, okay. It's, it's the scene is like right there. I'm going to move up over it. Okay, don't worry. Here, cap your bowl together. I'm, 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 I'm recognizing all of it fell kind of down. So. Any idea if those lights come cheaper or smaller? Uh, they do come smaller, yes. Not cheaper. Not cheaper. Um, <laughs> it's a little less. Jordan, Jordan Easel says, why is Moth so expensive to produce? Is it his eyes? Yes, it's the eyes. The eyes alone is 60 bucks my cost. Because the only place that I can get L pen. Remember, there's still shortages right now. I'm hoping that cost will come down for production, but if it doesn't, that's what I'm going to pay because I kind of like the look of those eyes. Um, but I'm buying them from the UK. Christian Ty Edwards says, do you all ever get to visit uh, Horror Nights? Do you like it? I love Horror Nights. I've been to Horror Nights a couple times. Uh, I used to work there when I lived in Orlando. Orlando. Um, I'm assuming by the look I've never been. Through. Oh, okay. I've been. It's it's a lot of fun. I love it. But then again, that's coming from someone who hasn't been in the hot industry for very long. Uh, it is a lot of fun. I love it, and I've been in the industry for a long time. Okay. Cool. It's a good time. <laughs> I can take a side. Of Angie Rogers has been back to work. I'm glad I caught the live tonight. I had vacation. Let's well, see. hooray. Resurrect Costumes has just used this foam technique for a mold. It's brilliant. It's a little bit. It saved you a lot of weight. Stopping. Old Wolf says, hello all. That's okay. Hi, Old Wolf. Ah, where do I find this? Still a little. Now. Custom Corpse says, I like them too. Ezekiel says, I like Horror Nights. The only downside is too many people. Agreed. Great. And you have to buy the Fast Pass or your life sucks. Fast Pass, early entry, blah, blah, blah. It's called Stay in Screen. Whatever it's called. Well, it's only stay in stream if you went there for a regular universal. Well, act, well, you get to pay the 30 bucks and then you go win like get two to hours pay early. Bucks. Right. They give you the option. I love it when I get to pay 30 bucks. <laughs> hey, but you get to go. It sounds like a Microsoft product. Hey, watch your hand. That's really hot. Working on it. So that's what I was telling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're making finger bacon. They're like. <laughs> It's like someone just did something. Not so cash money. <laughs> Resurrect Costume says, Alan, have you looked at Adafruit Industries for LED things? Yes. Yeah, I, I use Adafruit for several things. Ezekiel says, either a fast pass or call in a favor from Alan Pink that works there. Got a few of those too, but. <laughs> You know, I'm really glad I had those glasses on when you sprayed me a room. Good water. That really would have gone straight in my eye. 
You'd have been fine. I would have been fine. I would have complained. Nice. Fantastic. Like I'm sure the camera. And that's real stable. No. No. All right. Is, these are secrets. That's real stable with one strap. See where it lines up with the eye? Mm -hmm. That's where you want those straps. Good to know. Alright. Custom Corpse has asked, what's powering those lights on? Yeah. Nine volt. Yeah, nine volt. A nine volt powers both and it lasts a good while. And guess what? Still sticking. Carry on. Where are those little snaps, Adam? Uh, I'll bring some to you. Thank you. You need, if you don't need the top hats, you need the other bits. Yes, I do. Jordan Easel says, I thought only Disney used Fast Pass. Oh no, just about everywhere uses Fast Pass. Oh yeah. Like tiny little haunt backyard haunts use Fast Pass stuff mm -hmm. now. Ezekiel says, my wife just walked in and said, what are you watching? It looks, uh, Rue, it looks sus. <laughs> Everything Rue does is sus. Hello to the Minister of Foreign Finance. So, Alan's total five question. Brenda Byron says, I just yelled at my boss for interrupting. I'm watching this live and hung up on him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's star power right there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you'll see. <laughs> I'm busy. Watching this one. Do you mind? Stop! It's disturbing. It's gonna haunt my dream. Show them your baby fist. No! <laughs> Show everybody your baby fist. <laughs> That's Hallie's weird baby fist. You gave it to me. Yeah. You made me like this. Generally, <laughs> never mind. What? I can't even say it. It's okay. Rue might be judged. Not that I've ever been judged. I was gonna say. Who would judge you in this room, Rue? Yeah, all of us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it me. It me. Yeah. Ezekiel says, "Don't you think Rue would be judged by the the Minister of Foreign Finance is absolutely my very favorite way to refer to your significant other ever. I think that's fantastic." Ezekiel says, that's awesome, I want a baby fist. <laughs> <laughs> Ezekiel says, we can judge you online, Rue. It's a ring. Baby fist is my band name. There's a, oh, it's baby a, fist is your band name. There's a ring. No. Rylan Burnett says, Rue will be judged. Rue is ours. I'm trying to do this so I can burn it. But I might just have to get burned. Hey, Alan. Alan. Yes, ma'am. Are the fan things on? Oh, it's hot enough to just go straight through, did you? No, they're definitely not. Oh, I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. Resurrect costume says, is that the baby head mold of questionable survival? Yes, that's the, yeah. that's the, yeah. is the baby sticky? That's the baby head. Yeah. <laughs> Rue, push your finger in the baby and see if it's still sticky. That's, that's the one. We actually referenced that today. <laughs> It took a little oh, bit of survived. work. It, it, it took me a minute to get that cleaned out, but it did survive. Oh that Are stuff was gooey. Elastomeric roofing. 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 Elastomeric Oh my god. It was like on me and it wouldn't leave me alone. Ezekiel says it survived. Damn. Yeah, it uh, No, no, it's just in my It eye. took a lot to clean. Like, not gonna lie, that that took a minute a to get cleaned out. <laughs> I got it. Jesus. It's good. Custom Corpse says, hey Rue, what's that one piece mold you're foaming on? It is not a one piece mold. Really? It's actually a two piece mold that I am folding <laughs> off. For a the thing for trans thing for trans world. Yeah, it's a puppet. Did we show it? 
Yeah. We didn't show it, did we? Yeah. Brenda Bodman says, I got this, Alan. The baby has looks huge on her hand, but she's so small. Uh, all objects appear to be larger in her hands. That's right. Yeah, you're not wrong. Ezekiel says, was that baby originally a Rob mistake? No, no. Um, I think that actually was after Rob's time. I think that, that was an us, a, a rude thing. Right? Rob, Rob was still was here while we were I don't think sticking so. fingers in the baby. Oh, like, God. I think it was very end of our lives. Sure, the camera wasn't on you. <laughs> she's she's like booty up painting. Like this is this is how she's painting them. <laughs> Sally. Just do this. I then I can't get the top. But then just do the bottom this way, and then do the top. Get it, boy. That was funny. Yeah? He's painting in weird positions. I'm glad I'm here for comic relief now. You are a source of constant amusement. Don't, don't says, breathe says, Wow, this is show off on camera. Me and Rue had a conversation about Yeah, you there that that seam is is not visible right now. I just happen to know where it is there. This one, you can kind of see it. Work from this side, and that will suck your pocket. And uh, okay. you can see the dark spots. That's, those are our pride points. Thanks, 
There's another one. Uh, there's some of the Last of Us game. That's yeah. it. That's the last one. Tank says, just jump and hold the crap like a building. Yes. <laughs> Lots. I got it all the fit. It's fine. Things are fine. Could you foam over my fry points? <laughs> Some. Hey, you can't blame me for that. I didn't get Body Geek says my phone just hit my face. I made him a YouTube to sleep. Also, you know Sprite is over here? This is a terrible place to put a beverage. Your face is a terrible place to put a beverage. Place. No, no. I don't drink Sprite if there's Coke Zero in the room. Have the same warm fuzzy I do about most of my molds. 
Yeah. See, but Ezekiel there's... Ezekiel asked, what is Stacy making? Stacy is making stilt covers? Stilt covers. Wow. That's, that's the freshness. Alvatra Art says, hello, everyone, and Messy Bomber. Now, now you guys can see my crack. <laughs> Show them your crack, Alan. Right now, it is clearly on display. Excellent. And I will open this up for you and reveal to you its secrets. Spread open your crack. Oh, no. <laughs> Rude. No. No. Oh, my God. Not that kind of bum this time. <laughs> Things are fine. Full of maggoty goodness. Indeed. This is another hand puppet that we made. Uh, this is a magapede. It's got a half centipede, half maggot. Ezekiel says, Rue went there. Dustin Corsa says, There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one tight? No. Okay. We're not going to talk about what just happened. <laughs> Things are fine. I'm going to try it on my dignity later. Wow. That'd be straight. You have dignity? <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what you do when you open a mold. You crack it open and you reveal its secrets. Ezekiel. Or... Oh, I like that. Ezekiel says, all hail the Megapede. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Megapede. <laughs> As opposed to Megapede? I think Megapede is better. Because I think Megapede, and that's... <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking that. But... It's so close. Google one, you'll find the other. <laughs> speaking, speaking of when everybody should Google male mermaid. No. With that attitude, I don't think I will. Really. Or mermen. That's what it is. Don't, yeah. don't do that. Don't do that. Why? I like mermen. That's a lot of hand-drawn penises. A lot of it. Body beefs. Says, there's a video today on YouTube about why not to spray foam into your man parts by a urologist. I question society at times. Hold on. Oh. What? <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> Are we talking about. <laughs> Listen, Brian, we have to talk about the kind of videos you watch on the internet. Yeah. Okay? That, I think that's what needs to be said here. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> I had a I had a swaller in my mouth. A so swaller? If you could kindly not do that while I'm <laughs> taking a drink, that'd be great. She had a swaller. Oh, that's a swaller. <laughs> Resurrection costume says I mega peed once. I thought I might need a doctor. Cobweb says eight beers will give me a mega peed. <laughs> Hence why we're not going to name it mega peed, guys. <laughs> Proving points here. <laughs> is it the same thing? Oh, oh no, Custom Corpse is. No, it's no. okay. Yes, ish. Ish. Okay, let's do it. Bro says, let's not. Go ahead. Alright. Which one? Doesn't matter. Almatra Art says, awesome shirt, Alan. Why, that thank you. That is trim. That text right there in front of your face is a good one. That's text, yes. Hey, Rue, can I borrow you for a second? Of course you can. I'm going to hold up the pee and you pull out. <laughs> pull that away. Gene Medley says, awkward. First thing I tune in is talking about Alan's man parts. Uh, let's be clear. No, one, not talking no one's talking about my man parts. Man That's for show. Sure. That's garbage. The outer shell is garbage. Okay. Of clay, because somebody stole it from me. Jerk. 
Body Book <laughs> says, I've been searching for spray foam projects and it was a suggested video. <laughs> Who is who is spray foaming their man parts? Well, I mean, I guess. And what for? I, I imagine to try and um, on inch stick above. It. Like line it too above the end. Just over like your ears, over and under. Yeah. 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 I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works, and I know that's the way that works. But the fact that there there was a need to explain that to other people in video form. Oh, you didn't say that. No. No, no. Joe no. says, Rue, when I, when I Google Merman, should I remove the parental control? Don't I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make a mer merman. I like my parental control, please. One day. <laughs> Turns out there's a whole sect of that, like furries. Oh. <laughs> there are. says, how about Wormzilla? There are furries, there are stonies, there are <laughs> yeah. scalies, yep. there are ickies. You can stop now. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. There's plenty out there. And every now and then I get a request, I'd like this costume. And you never say no, you just give them a price so high that they Can't. go elsewhere. He said, into the... This is... Kind of amazing. What's that? Just feeling that all the satisfyingness of show them on the camera. <laughs> Spin that camera around for you. Ezekiel <laughs> says, "I know the daughter will have tons of questions. Thanks." Can we see it? I have questions. Body Geek says it was some doctor who was a urologist. So it must be a common enough problem. The fact that it's a common enough problem. To, to, to get, need a video addressing it is... What is... What's the phone for? I don't know, and I don't think I want... I guess no. Viagra's expensive spray foam is cheap. Oh! <laughs> it hardens! No. <laughs> Ew! Yuck. You know, I thought I'd heard it all. I now have a hypothesis <laughs> that I wish I didn't have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is satisfying. This is all I would show. Is that this kind of thing off in one of says, variants. just a thought. Maybe open a window because somebody's getting too much fumes. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. How do I fix the audience from getting too much fumes? Yeah. How do I fix that? It's not us a lot of the time. Cobweb says, gotta drive. Good night, Beast Thank you. Good night, sir. Bro says, yep, there's a whole crack out there and it scares the bejeebus out of me. Oh, I shocked Ezekiel. Uh oh. Uh, is that not what everyone's thinking in regards <laughs> to the, the phone thing? Like, no? I don't, I don't, like, I. I, I see, Tang says a guy spray foamed his man parts to fix it. How, how is it broken? I don't know. It's just don't ask. They make a blue pill for that. Custom Parks, it says, Rue, what is that for? That was the core out of the puppet. Yeah, that's what I sculpted the puppet on. It also happens to be an arm candy base. One of the things I make arm candies out of that Alan stole from me. Borrowed. See, you have it back. <laughs> After you told me to throw it away. <laughs> Not at all dirty. <laughs> oh God! Thank you, Ezekiel, for that quick. Uh, uh, There's no there. He says it must be a Texas black tape. We can't, here. we can't even buy a Loctite here. Black tape. <laughs> Your cup is. I was like, I mean, I bet you probably could buy that. Voter says spray foam gets bigger and hardens. That's why. Yeah. Ah. But <laughs> you're choosing. I'm choosing. No. It's I so sticky. It. It's ah. so sticky. Ah. I don't want it on my hands. 
Let alone anywhere else. Oh. Well, we actually have hands if you want hands that are the right size, but uh, big, big, big. Um, because think about your hand the size of your face. So Ziggy is over four foot from chin to chin to head. So probably three and a half, four foot hand is good. Tank says, how is it broken? Well, it broken gets hard. Uh, Ross Richard says, why not call it pest aside? Uh, I'm going to call it a magapede. So it's half maggot, half centipede. Okay. Bro uh, says, Alan, how much play do you think you use in a year's time? Like, huh? 6,000 pounds. <laughs> like, I just did my taxes, so I kind of know that. Like, it's about 6,000 pounds of clay that I bought in a year. Every box is 50 pounds. Um, we go through a lot of clay up during monster camps. Ezekiel, <laughs> yes, I think that does. I think that is what that means. Yes. Yeah. It's not too hot. It's just a point. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's not, it's not strapped yet. <laughs> Kaylee is finishing a strap. There's full one right now. You got a corner one. Corner board can get uh, You can sponge this one. Sponge these guys so that it's, it's even. Okay. And I'll be like one of them. Yeah. Oh, wait. I. Nope. Yeah. And then this one. Which is the bonus for casting. You know, keep for records. <gasps> records. This is. That's what it wrecks up. Body Geek says you should buy it by the pallet. Uh, I just don't want a whole pallet of it at one time. It would end up sitting outside, okay, and then out. the cardboard box would get rained on, and then that would be a nightmare. Oh. That roux would have to fix. <laughs> <laughs> and it involves more work for roux. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> We're again. <laughs> Tina Bowden says it's the same reason they tell people not to inject it under the skin like Botox. Yikes. Yikes um, on bikes. Like, there was a news report of these chicks who yeah. stuck silicone or caulk yeah. in their butts. Caulk. Yeah, like to make their butts bigger. Yep. Yeah. So Wasn't there that is a. Yes. My heart weeps for society. So, well, there is a. like. There's some bodybuilders who want shortcuts. It's called synthol, and it's an oil. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they will inject their arms. The problem is, it's actually addictive mm -hmm. to do it. So that's why you see that they look like they have balloons on their arms. But it doesn't look good. It does not look good, but but they're addictive. Yeah. It's not the <laughs> Ezekiel says, and here we go. Making the muscles look better anymore. It's that they're addictive. So these now all get little mushroom caps, because these are just the stems. And then this guy will have mushroom thrown out his face. And uh, <laughs> spray foaming this would not help. No. Because not. the tube is too big to get in that tiny hole. So <laughs> we're not going to do that. Any, uh, and plus, I'm too old for this. I'm just like, you have to, we have to you shake it more than twice, you're playing with me. <laughs> We have to fill these. I'm trying to make a point here. These have to hold the weight of a mushroom cap, so they actually have to be pretty sturdy, or else they would sag down when the mushroom cap went on. And nobody likes a saggy mushroom. <laughs> That's just not the way they grow, Rue. I'm too old for this. Body Geek says, like I said, I question society. Uh, yes. I have not named the gnome yet, but I will say I did like Stubbs, sir. That's a good name. Stubbs. You got a 
this one needs. <laughs> Bro says he's having entirely too much fun with that. I was making a point. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Al. think that you're missing a conversation that happens in the shop because you only hear Kaylee's side of it, be aware it's a conversation she's having with herself. <laughs> you really do. You really do talk to yourself a lot. Ezekiel says he's a wolf fan, so he already has Harry Potter. Oh my goodness. I noticed that a lot of actually have a cup. Sometimes, sometimes we cut the reverse. Yes, my no. eyeball came out. It's like a choice thing. Eyeball was stuck. Sometimes we have a cup. Where did that reset? Where? <laughs> oh, huh? Allie, what? you might not know this. The camera's been on you for a while. <laughs> Rose says, Alan, if you could only have three mediums slash materials to work with, what would they be? Clay, plaster, latex. Yep. Next question. <laughs> This is the way. And right now, I'm cleaning latex out of a mold, so what I'm doing is not that exciting. Good night, Big John. Cleaning latex out of a mold? I'm cleaning clay out of a mold. Yeah. We knew it. Ezekiel says clay, plastic, <laughs> pocket cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. Pocket cheeseburgers. <laughs> Choc chocolate cheeseburgers. <laughs> if we had clay, plaster, clay and plaster, but no latex, that would be a problem. Can't make cheeseburger. Custom Point just says, I ordered three Ed Head 2.0 okay. and uh, 50 pounds of monster clay. I need a break from the Myers Pass. Time for original stuff, I think. Yeah. Hooray! I'm so glad to see you moving on. Does it require hands? It does require hands. You're, when you're making something, that is a reproduction. Like the best you can do is have it look like theirs. And I, I just, you know, I, I enjoy the feeling more of no one's ever seen this before. I made it. And then no one can say you made it wrong either. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel says, well, if Alan has three mediums to choose from, uh, Ruth, could have different three. I, I can only fit into three mediums uh, if you sewed it together and made it two like so. <laughs> we get to combine our mediums. I, I don't think. I don't think that didn't sound dirty when Ezekiel said it. <laughs> I don't think that's a. <laughs> Brandon Marshall says hello. Hello, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall, hello. Okay, so if I'm using Alan's 
plaster, latex, and clay. clay. Epoxy. Paint. Yeah, paint and hair, man. I mean, like paint yeah, hair. Uh, uh, epoxy paint and hair. That's that's what you need. Although we don't have any silicone to put on the hair, but we'll figure it out with epoxy. <laughs> I'll take silicone thread and fabric. the three of us, we, we, go. got a, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, <laughs> Ezekiel says, you've been quietly combining your mediums for a while, Rue. <laughs> Rose says, what would you say to your younger self now that you know all that you know now? Um, hey, you can do this as a job. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm talking to myself when I'm, what, nine? Uh, it, it all yeah, depends it doesn't on, count for you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, boy. Would you shortcut a lot of stuff? Like, No, because if I learned something everywhere I went. Like, everything that I did was valuable. Um, it might not have been fun while it was happening, but it had immense value in my life. So, I don't I don't know that I would shortcut anything. Jesus, I just saw that. Just, but I, <laughs> um... I'm kind of the rare case there where I started doing this at 10 years old and I stayed the course. So. Phil Salito says, hi everyone. First time going to Trans World this year. Any advice? Uh, first of all, wear comfortable shoes. Yep. I would not take more than two classes a day just because you're going to fry your brain and not see enough of the show floor. Um, and walk the show floor slow. Uh, so, Phil, are you a home haunter or a pro haunter, or what is your reason for going? Because that'll change a couple of things. Uh, I think the most valuable time spent at Transworld is actually in the bar after hours, just talking haunting with people. Um, Friday night, we're having a gathering for Stilt Beast Live Creepers, the folks who watch uh, us make stuff live here uh, and for our Facebook group who if you're not if you're watching now you're not on the Facebook group still beast live creepers please join us there because I get to uh, see your work and that's what that's for you guys get to see my work all the time but Friday night just for talking and hanging out and uh, swapping stories and ideas and showing our monster baby pictures Kaylee, could you spin the camera over here? Alright, just drop the link to the Facebook group. Okay. okay. Bonnie Meeks asks, can you combine two parts together, like two latex Bye. halves, to make a full pumpkin and have it hold up? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you it's a, a little bit hour? difficult, but yes, you can. Alan, do you want Ron a closer? Chef says, hey, all how you doing? Another, li another yeah, live YouTube didn't notify about. I am very sorry. Yeah. Hallucinations Creek says, what up guys? In our shop, busting out Trample products also. See you all next week. That's awesome. Uh, I love that. Hallucination Creations? In a week? We're there right now. What do you guys make? Brenda Bottom says, boss is messing with me. He called my other phone three times, so I blocked his number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't none of y'all get ideas. <laughs> Bro says, true about time afterwards, best time to kick the brain of some fun people. That's when you learn a lot, you know. I would say I just, you know, like, block my boss from my other job, but still the same boss. Oh, and he's still my same boss from the other, other job. Custom Corpse says, I think doing the original will give me a feeling of freedom of replica. I promise. I'm wig waggling. I am. You kind of got to burn the hole on the foam, on the on the foam masks. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, that's why the she's got the soldering iron. Yeah, but she's cheating and using it to go through I'm the I'm not traps. cheating. It's called being productive. Just <laughs> <laughs> set it down. <laughs> Again, I'm just cleaning a mold. But yeah, uh, trans world. Comfortable <laughs> shoes, like two classes a day because you'll fry your brain otherwise. And then um, talk with folks, say hi, introduce yourselves to people that you normally would not. 
uh, because this is a chance where people who love what you love have come together from all over the world, uh, mostly the country this year, but all over the world, in order to do that. Take up smoking. Ezekiel says, what is wig waggling? Wig waggling. I'm wig waggling. I'm waggling. You were loud enough they heard you. Now come explain yourself. Okay. <laughs> Rudy Godwin says, yeah, don't do as I do. I have 43 licenses and certifications to have my job security. That's way more than he has. Go to Rudy Camper. Rudy Okay, so I'm strapping masks right now, and instead of trying, instead of burning a hole in the, in the strap, I'm, instead, I'm taking Rudy's advice and just kind of wiggling it through the weave. And so I'm standing here going, I'm big waggling, man. It's not, it's not going through because I don't have the hand strength that he does. A lot of hand strength. Hey, Rue, can you hand me an eyeball? Which kind? Oh, oh, the, the, you want to put some of Mario's balls in your mouth? That's not exactly what I said. But I would like an eyeball, please. <laughs> hey, Hallie. Pick phone camp down just a hair. Hey, thanks. Okay. Uh, Rose says, about how many pieces will you be taking to transport? I don't know. Pieces? As <laughs> many as I can. As many as I can. Uh, 300? Something like that? That's important. Is that a real challenge with doing any movie mask? It's replicating is the hardest part. I uh, I don't ever have an inspiration problem. I have time problem doing all the things I'm inspired to do. I know you don't like me, and that's okay. I think I have the spray foam thing figured out where they would put it. We're still on it? It took you this long. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take my hand. <laughs> so, I... That might even be a better language. Yeah, dogs, don't the dogs are here. Now we'll get nothing done. Summers? That is Teddy Summers. I can see from the picture. Teddy, I can't. You get a beast man fist bump. That's a 
picture of Teddy for sure. I am I'm feeding out the mold for a Magapede uh, hand puppet, which will be a new product at Transworld. Like yes, that. we're a week away from the show, and I'm still molding. Teddy asked, where'd you get those, Rue? Rue, where'd you get them? Uh, the colors look like Fiskers. They are Fiskers brand. So it's Fiskers brand. He got them from Walmart. Yep. Craft section or garden section? Garden section. Okay. Custom Garb says, I'm thinking of doing combinations like werewolf versus Bigfoot and so on. Uh, okay. The good old werefoot. That's fun. You're right. That's why I love the mashup. Yeah, that's me. Monster Brawl. The name of the movie is Monster Brawl. That's what it's called. And I love it. Also, recently I have been exposed to the weirdest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> um, it's not a children's movie, so don't. And you might think, like, from the first five seconds, it is a children's movie. Um, what? Don't be and don't be fooled by the name. I just wanted to watch a simple tale about Bigfoot versus Megalodon. Because that's the name. Um, it all takes place in space. And the cast of characters in it, Dr. Jekyll is in it. Um, Alistair Crowley is in it. Um, not the real ones. Yeah, No, not the real yeah, Alistair Crowley and Adolf Hitler right. are both aliens. Yeah, they're both aliens. Be it's because of reasons. Like, oh, like rays. It's uh, it's interesting. I threw it on. I just wanted to watch a guy in a Bigfoot suit throw a shark around a couple times. And that is not and what I got. They never fought. No, they never actually fought each other, which was sad. But, I digress. Make Scare Haunt says puppies all day, every day. That's one of the reasons why I love your channel. The dogs will pop in all the time. <laughs> There was. You did a great job of getting a photograph of Hallie's head. <laughs> oh no, no, I went in and did this. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, which masks? Grab that werewolf right there. No, nope. elbow. Your elbow's about touching it. There yeah. you go. That's the one. I don't know why I went so long ago. We got an order today for a uh, deluxe werewolf. I love making those. Very reminiscent of the howling. Custom says, what did you see it on? Uh, Tubi. T-U-B-I. <laughs> Tubi is a free streaming service. Uh, there are commercials on most things, but it has a lot of obscure 70s horror and a lot of real fun stuff. I, I, I'm a sucker for 70s horror movies or Paul Nashy films. I just love those, the gothic horror. They're a lot of fun. Oh, never mind. Now I have to Hey! That's why. Why did you say the C word? <laughs> she said, "Why do you? Why does we do not, not use like the C word in this shop room?" Something or other. I was like, I'm about "Why are we don't like it?" <laughs> so technically, if you're thinking of technicalities, it's not a C word; it's a K word for that movie because they call them killer clowns with a K. They're still a clown tax, and actually, they're aliens. But exactly, their their clowns are just different than everybody else's. Well, I bet they show up in the Bigfoot vs. Megalodon sequel. <laughs> I Like, the cover is Bigfoot, like, with his fist back, and then, like, there's ocean around them, and then the Megalodon shark is jumping at him, and it was a tiny Megalodon, considering that Megalodons are 70 foot long and Bigfoot is 7 foot tall, but still, it was a good image. Uh, the cover suckered me in. Tank says the deluxe werewolf is still tall, right? Uh, well, if it's just just the mask, it's the moving jaw mask with flocking on the snout and three types of hair and glass eyes. Oh, I thought you were talking about the So, yeah. Custom Forbes right. says, I have it. What was the name of it again? Or what was it after that? Bigfoot versus Megalodon? Bigfoot versus Megalodon. It's terrible. It's, it's kind of... It's not the worst thing we've watched in the show. It's like you not put 30, 13 year olds together and they all like told you the plot of a movie. That's the chase your um, Have you seen that one movie with Sam Elliott where he hunts Bigfoot? I have not. Oh lord. 
I have not. It yes, is. you have. I was, no. It is I was bad. told it's, told it's a Bigfoot that kills Bigfoot and Hitler or something like that, yeah. right? He kills Hitler. Right. Hitler's involved. Hitler's involved. Yeah, no, I haven't watched that. You should. It's terrible. Oh, see, I don't like movies that are terrible. It just happens to be that a lot of the movies that I like, other people think are terrible, which is different. Well, and that says, we've seen terrible. You mean the cover didn't jolt you into thinking it would be crap? Hey, no. Cover looked awesome. Like, that's the movie that I want to see. I want to see Bigfoot punching a shark. I think there was an episode of the TV Incredible Hulk where he throws a shark. <laughs> and that just made me really happy. <laughs> the cousin corpse says, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ezekiel says, yes, you do. The cousin corpse says, that's my kind of movie. No. Ezekiel is still mad about The Princess Bride. <laughs> I love that movie, and I'm sorry that you didn't like it. I, just, I, I did not recommend a bad movie to, mm. just to hurt you. Bro, Ezekiel, or Princess Bride is amazing. Ezekiel hates it. Yeah. He's Australian, so we forget him. Yeah, I, I think he <laughs> needs a feistier movie because of his Australianness. He can just go watch Mad Max. <laughs> That's feisty for sure. <laughs> and kind of Australian. Kind of Australian. Mad Max is kind of Australian. Yeah. I may watch movies, but I'm not a movie. Tank says, I thought I'd seen all of Sam Elliott's movies. I'm a fan, but never heard you heard of the one where he hunts Bigfoot. I'll check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's bad. I it, think it's, it's called, like, I Killed Bigfoot and Hitler or something. I, yes! The man who killed the man Bigfoot, who and killed Hitler. Bigfoot and Hitler. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't have a desire to want to watch that. Because I'm not going to watch a movie where Bigfoot dies. That's sad. I don't even know if he kills him. I didn't finish it. Crypt says, like, zombie beavers. Zombie Listen, Zombie Beavers had merit. All right. So many moves. Z <laughs> that wasn't what I was mentioning. <laughs> um, it's a fair warning. Zom <laughs> Zom Zom Beaver had some merit. Uh, I I don't Not like artistic merit. I don't I don't I like movies where animals uh, go a little crazy. Right? I like that. Body says the princess Koala. Ezekiel says, being Australian means I didn't get Princess Bride. My maggot is almost clean. You don't hear that sentence a lot. No, I was showing you something. It doesn't do anything. Wait, waggle. Just, like, the chance that you're going to go through that section of leave again. Waggle, 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 waggle. Oh, wait, I went too close. Girl lost too close to the sun. Ha ha ha! Yes. Okay, I think I figured out the trick to you. Get it between the weave. <laughs> you get it. Face gets it between the weave. Mom gets it between the weave. Being Australian makes me tired. That's 60% of the time it works. That's, that's what we think. That's yeah. Like, let's, yeah, that's the vibe. We're pretty sure. As the, that's the reason. That's how we would get to go over here and grab one of the be a cultural brush reference. bottles out of one of the be. boxes and yeah. set up a everybody flesh. loves the Prince of Prussia. But everybody. to be fair, in our Australian Texan cultural exchange, Ezekiel has, we've gotten the way better end of the deal. Because like we he, got Tim Tams. He gave us Tim Tams and we yes. gave him the Princess Bride. And yeah. we love Tim Tams, but he hates the Princess Bride. <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. We have to come up with something better. <laughs> You know, there are really big pinchers in this, and that's what I'm having to dig the clay out of now. His body is mostly clean. Those were a nightmare on food. Brian Lippert says hello, everyone. Hello, Brian. Hello. Oh, hi. Now, Brian, you know, he's not fine. So I will say, this is 
not as bad as the the mummy stretch fabric. Yeah. It sure is a, a close second. Open on it to do a lot of those. I also hope you don't have to do a lot of things. I mean, like, I'll have to do a lot of things. Because you're gonna grab like that guy there and do his face and flesh. Both of those two get their face done in flesh, and uh, don't don't do the shrooms in flesh. Just do his face. You know what I mean? And then those guys there. He says, "I've got my fair share from you guys, in all honesty. One crap movie doesn't change my thoughts of you personally." <laughs> well, we love you too, Ezekiel. Yeah, all, all, not the cauliflower head, but all of the human parts. Custom Corpses says, hey, I'm going to say goodnight, guys. Phone's on about 2%. Got no choice. Good night, all. Bye. Skin and Bones says, good evening, everyone. Hey, Alan and family. Hello, Skin and Bones. Because you didn't listen. Yeah. My brain's not, I heard not quite long enough. Soon. But we're not going to talk about it. I'm going to steal this chair. Oh, this is a comfortable chair. Yeah, that's nice, right? That's my computering chair. This game chair. You know, one of the computer. Oh. Well, the thing happened at Eric Albert that I have to tell you about, actually. This, do we have to go into private? No. Okay, good. What do you got to tell um, about? Uh, so. Well, break. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, Robert came back from lunch, mm -hmm. and the trailer door was wide open. Scenes, I think somebody cut the lock off the trailer. Which door? Sure. The, the white trailer. The little white trailer. Okay. Had cut the lock off the trailer door, looked inside and went, nah, and left. Because <laughs> there's all the garbage inside it, pretty much. Yeah, well... The trailers that are outside of Dark Hour are like insurance bait. <laughs> if they steal them, we will claim the insurance. <laughs> but I really don't use that trailer anymore. I, know. Funny story I, about I do need to actually use that trailer yeah. soon, by the way. Funny story about breakage. I can. I used to carry a Miranda Rights card in my wallet. Mm -hmm. And I used to drive a Jeep Wrangler that is my dad's. And we always just left the doors off because right. why would you drive a Jeep Wrangler with the doors on? Right. And Aside from like rain. Well, you know, one night uh, I left my wallet and like my backpack and stuff out in the Jeep because I forgot to bring it in. And I come outside to go to school and all my stuff is strewn out on the yard and I just see my Miranda rights card sitting on my seat. And I was like, someone had a panic moment when they read that. <laughs> so I also have a funny uh, theft story. At my old house. Uh, Is this diamond earring story? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a separate funny theft story. But it's only funny now. Uh, but anyway. Um, there was a little building that was near the, the house. It was a fence yard and stuff. And we had two big dogs then, Wendy and Spitz. And uh, I come home, and the shed, the storage shed, is wide open, and there's stuff all over the lawn. And a neighbor had said that, because I had people you know, like this, like coming to work on stuff at the shop all the time and whatnot. Um, he didn't think anything of it too much, but they were rearranging their truck in order to fit things out of my garden shed in it. Because they had hit several places. Well, my two big dogs came out barking and scared them, and they left. But they left me a new power washer. <laughs> and they had stolen from someone else. They didn't take anything of mine, but they left me a power washer. <laughs> I had to put it all back, but at least I got a free power washer. Brenda Bodwin says, Saturday I got the best deal ever on pool noodles. Beat my last deal at 10 cents each. Macy's threw away. I grabbed them from the trash. Two cases wow. free. One day I'll make some of you show us. That's awesome. Body Geek says, cool. well, why don't you pressure wash your maggot, Alan? 
Because it's 40 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. She risked. I don't want to. Patricia Hogan, he says, good night, y'all. Have fun at Transworld, but I'll see you before you go. Good night, Patricia Hogarty. You'll probably see us live at least one more time. Also, so, what is your plan for the recliners that used to be in the van? I don't know. Why do you ask? Because my recliner just died. <laughs> I guess Max soon we'll have to figure out who's off. driving with who and. Although I did figure out today. If I end up having to take the expedition, and listen, if you if it's better for y'all to get here earlier, that's perfectly fine. And not fight traffic. If you want to get here like three o'clock, four o'clock, that's fine. Well, Wednesday, Megan's gonna do my hair, but she's okay. probably she's not doing much. She just bleached it around my face. Okay. A lot of geeks says, oh, it's in the 70s here in Louisiana. Eh, must be nice. Yeah, not here. Brenda Bob asked what to make it of. Uh, I'm cleaning a maggot mold. This is a, this is a mag sure. giant maggot hand puppet. So your hand will be in it like this, like a dix. And uh, the other piece will be here, like a deck. And uh, latex. And wow. Chris says, I have a good way to get out that clay. I use a Bissell Steam Shop portable head, portable handheld steamer. The clay just drops out. Yeah, those uh, those are pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, well, it should be a couple of inches above and below the island. So, try it on. Yeah. It's too close to What? Never mind, I was calling you and nope. you ignored me. <laughs> If you didn't know already, I'm deaf. I'm <laughs> like, joking. Joking. This is Ezekiel <laughs> says, one trip to Transworld and travel from Texas yeah. up to St. Louis. Okay. That would be a treat. Okay. Heck yeah. Listen, fly into the AW. We have the biggest international airport. Blue one on this one. Yeah. yeah. The southern U.S. Well, I mean, it's, it's not. It's not. Right at bottom, it's negative two degrees Fahrenheit here. <laughs> yeah, that sounds less fun. I should be yeah. used to the yeah. devil yeah. by now because my dad's been around, like, planes. Planes and guns mm -hmm. and explosions. Yep, planes, guns, cars, loud music. Yep. I, I was a. a I've made lots of bad choices. I ride a Harley. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to loop out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. American made. <laughs> you haven't seen my bike, have you? Yes, I have. Have you? There was one night where Did we went to Cafe Brazil and you walked oh, outside yeah. and I saw your motorcycle. I haven't seen it like up close and personal. But. I have seen it in passing. Ezekiel says it's 89 euros. It's actually some gold. Oh, I do too, man. Yeah. I'll take it. Send it to St. Louis. Yeah, last like, year. Like, that's never happened. Last year it was in May, so it was so much warmer. <laughs> yeah. It was like, last year, yeah, it was, I think, the nicest it's been. And even then, it still wasn't great. It's still grizzly. Lovely. Oh, I see that much color on the shelf. Yeah. yeah. Wednesday, I will do the detail paint on these guys. Tank says Harley's only American symbol. Yeah, yes and no. Um. I actually used to be a Harley mechanic. I know a lot about Harley. I've done a lot of Harley research. Uh, some Harleys are only American assembled, and some are not. Some are fully American made from Detroit steel and everything. Oh, I just like saying that because I like making fun of people who ride Harleys. Not you included, Ruth. <laughs> Well, I like making fun of the jerk faces that ride Harley. The good dudes that ride Harleys are exempt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to lie to kick it, it's fine. Huh? <laughs> what? You ain't got to lie to kick it, it's fine. You can call me a jerk face. 
Yes, Bruce, you are an absolute jerk face. <laughs> Total turd. Bruce kind of is a jerk face. <laughs> Only to you, Alan. But he's our jerk face. <laughs> Trying to adjust the camera and it's the wrong camera. <laughs> Why isn't that one? I'm working? like, this isn't moving. Why isn't the camera moving? <laughs> sorry, I switched over to room cam because she walked away from the show. Oh, sorry. Oh, murder jacket. Uh, did the bottom draw done? Ezekiel says, not the dude that ride Yamaha Harley. What? what? Take says, School tank. I normally go in a lot more. Okay. I mean, like in like an inch as opposed to a half inch. Oh, yeah. Not while it's on your face. Custom <laughs> Corpse says, I probably only have a few seconds out. Come up. Have Alex. you thought about using a trash, <laughs> Come up. Oh, trash bag coated with silicone for the worm because you can do the inside out effect? What's that? Have you, awesome. have you thought about using a trash bag coated with silicone for the worm because you can do the inside out effect? What worm? Maybe you think of the maggot? What inside out effect? Like I don't I don't know what you're talking about. I yeah. wish I knew. I thought about using a trash bag coated with silicone for the worm. What worm? Friend of Bottom says, I need a young Texan or a... Mexican? Up here they actually work. Couldn't get anybody to do this job tonight. Oh. What kind of a weird job are you having done? What'd you mess up on, huh? <laughs> you were about to tell us how you screwed up? I clamped it before Go. I made you try it on. I see. So now they're permanent. No, now you just have to get a... But it, it fit fine. A oh, I thought you said you wanted it... No, I did it in the future. No, on the next one. Move them up. Oh. Because you're going to lean towards looser. Okay. Where you put them an inch in, you get that little more tightness. Gucci. Wait, put me right on the spot. Yeah. Okay, Alexa, count down five minutes. It'll be five minutes more work, and then we're going to cut off for the evening. Brenda Bottom says the job is sitting here making sure the generator doesn't run with gas all night. It turns the lights. Um, it turns the lights. Guess what this pays? I um, not enough. I would, I would assume it would pay something around minimum wage, which is functionally ten bucks an hour now. Oh, hey. Well, it's already 10 o'clock. How much for pouring up another trip in today? Bam. It's your, uh, juice with love. It's powder still in there. Yeah. <laughs> it came out. It's like, it totally dropped into there. And then, like, as soon as I did it, I, don't need I was your like, I'm not getting that out of there. I'm like, yeah. I was oddly thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> That was dumb. That's going to be hard to get out of there. How we got here? What? Oh my gosh. Uh, Brenda Boggs says this job pays twenty-eight fifty plus uh, six point uh, six dollars ninety-six cents per inch. Couldn't get any. Wow. Yeah. There's a bit of a labor shortage. <laughs> a bit of a labor shortage right now. <laughs> Ship you a child. <laughs> Maybe two. 
Maybe even her child. <laughs> Not just one she found. No. Ah! What's all screaming? You forgot. You forgot the bunny ears on that one. Found. Yeah. <laughs> Cousin Porter says maggot. I was watching a Stan Winston video and they used a trash bag filled with silicone, and you put your arm in it and pull it out, and it looks sick. Oh yes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Ezekiel says, well, folks, I have to go get my son. It's been great catching up. Drive safe if I don't watch Port Transworld. Uh, have some burn ins and have a great show. Good luck to the newbies going to Transworld. Hooray! Good night, Ezekiel. Thank you. Have Bye. a good one. Sugar Fire doesn't have burn ins. Is it not to help you? Finish oh. that, and I'm going to use Where the red on these guys. There is one. Get them. There is an excellent restaurant. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. That has. Um, I don't need your sass, I'm like, am I wrong? Are you look at me, you're going to tell me that Paint I'm wrong? Paint the mask! Paint I'm the wrong? mask! Um, have adolescent chatter later. <laughs> adolescent. Woo! Woo! Not spicy. Uh, anyway, it has, as an appetizer, burnt ends. And it's... Where was it? That's it's Shannon and I spent... Downtown, <laughs> like, near Sundance. I'll ask my mom. Plano? No. Yes, it does, and oh. Shannon always gets them. Right. She special asks for them. Yeah, you have to ask for it, and a lot of times they're out of them by the time we get them. Yeah. How rude! Didn't they know we were coming? Brenda Bobby says they're probably going to get one of my nieces or nephews to come out from Tennessee to do this. I want to twist their arm. What's the right thing? Did you with red? <laughs> I mean, I'm covered with all the other colors too. Like the flesh? No, it's a free man. <laughs> Just to look on it. Yep. So most, I felt that. most flesh I paints so. don't have near enough red in them. So if you do a little bit of a red mist before you paint the flesh on or after, it looks much more fleshy and organic. Custom Corpse says, oh, I didn't get those inks, Alan. They're amazing, and the red is perfect for blood effects. Yeah, it's pretty good. You're going to cry. This one's not on a head. Let's put this on a head. There's a head right there. You got one right there. Custom Corpse says, I plugged my phone in. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. The other day, I had to mix foundations to make a cider. No. Wide enough to look. Yeah, red is the secret to flesh. Lightly icky, uh huh, like sickly almost, uh huh. For my Frankenstein, uh huh. Gonna, you, you want know, something to look more alive, you give it a little red. You want something to look more dead, you give it a little blue. Right. Blue brown. Alexa, stop. Alexa, come on. Listen, Alexa's back in the brain of the She's so pretty. Like, she's so fancy. I think it's dressed. Alex's eyes. Yeah. And I have to go tomorrow. And I'm going to pause that. Yeah. And I paint the dress tomorrow, too, maybe. I don't know. No, I should wait till it gets touched. What? My dress. I found it! I found the hole! Yay! I pulled the trip in without having to break the mold again. Yay. I didn't find the hole. That's... Brenda Bodden says, what is that mask called? Um... I think we're just going to call this one Clicker, because that is the monster I ripped off the design from <laughs> on The Last of Us. It is a Clicker, it is not the Clicker. What was... Oh, Shiitake! That's right. That's what you were going to call oh, it. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm sorry. I forgot. This mask's name Hi, is Oh Shiitake. I forgot we named it. Oh Shiitake. Yeah. Not the 
both, babe. You would be both. <laughs> Hey, work this. Make scare haunts as I enjoyed my first live feed. My first live live. Well, it gets a little weird sometimes. Hi, wife. Hi. Bye, wife. <laughs> okay, so mac and cheese. Yes. Okay. They, awesome. Bye. <laughs> they didn't save me any mac and cheese. I know. We're the meanest. They look at how much they ate. I was hoping for leftovers. I didn't get none. That's a lie. That is so a lie. <laughs> So lying. <laughs> I didn't get any. None. None. <laughs> so pull the crap your eyes around, boy. It's really good mac and cheese. All right. <laughs> Say good night. Good night. Oh, Say good night, Hallie. That's a lot of powder in it. Hi, good night. Yep, that is a lot of powder. Say good night, Rue. Good night, Rue. Say good night, Stacy. Good night. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, like wow. us, you may be under high stress because of like a looming deadline or something. Or but even just like life in general. Right? Yeah, well, just life in general. Earlier. Things are crazy. But uh, try and stay nice to each other because that's important. Because the people who are around you now will probably be around you after that craziness is over. Uh, so that's way more important than being worried about craziness. You guys are awesome. Go make stuff. Go make stuff! Go make stuff!